Hey Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how to make a really fun scrunched up flower as shown on this project right here. So what you're going to want to do to start is you're going to want to take your one and three quarter inch scallop punch and you're going to want to punch six scallops out of whatever color you'd like. You want to stack them together. Now it doesn't really matter if they're exact. I'm going to bring in my new Stampin' Matte I absolutely love and my fancy new paper piercer. These are two of my favorite new tools in the catalog. You're going to want to pierce a hole right through the center of all of all six of your scallop circles. Move that out of the way. You're going to want to put a brad through them. Now it doesn't matter what color the brad is because it's not going to show in the end. So for our purposes today we're going to use a Lucky Limeade brad and just stick it through and then the back. You're going to want to use one that of course has long tails on the back so it can go through all those six layers and hold it nice and secure. Next step, you're going to want to get an old Stampin' Mist bottle or any other kind of misting bottle and fill it with some water and you're going to start spritzing and you're just going to do one layer at a time. And just make sure it's nice and wet and you're just going to bring it up and scrunch it up into the middle around that brad that you've stuck in the middle. And like I said, one layer at a time. Just give it a good scrunch. When you're happy with it, go on to the next layer. And do the same thing. You just want to repeat that for all your layers. Now this is a fun technique that I just learned at the Stampin' Up! convention a couple weeks ago. Or I guess it was even last week. Um, and Carrie Cudney showed us this on stage. It was fantastic. So again, just layer by layer, give it a good scrunch. Up around that brad. I think I have two layers left. There we go. So by spritzing it, what you're doing is kind of breaking down the fibers of the cardstock a little bit and making it just a little bit more pliable for you, a little bit easier to scrunch up. So, and one last layer. good scrunch and then you can kind of pull it apart a little bit and shape it a little and there you have it your flower is all done so here's another one in wisteria wonder super cute and here's one more that I've started in midnight muse don't you just love the new in colors that we have this year so once this is dry it's gonna kind of um, harden the cardstock just a little bit um, and you can see here I can show you just it's kind of just stuck like that kind of a cool effect so that's how you're going to make those, and those are the exact same way that, that Stampin' Up! made the flowers on the Subtles page of the new catalog. So you can see all those flowers along the top of the page there. That's the same way that the Stampin' Up! concept artist made those flowers. So now you know how to make some of the flowers in the catalog and put them on a fun project. That's all I have for you guys today. I um, hope you've enjoyed my very first video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'll make some more videos in the future. Thanks for stopping by. Have an inspired day.